Josh Darrow, Larry Bluestein. Right there, baby. You know, JT, you know, when JT's here, it's a little yeah. easier to read. Just want you to know that. Look it. <laughs> well, I promise in the coming year I'm going to put on, put on some weight. Yeah, put on some weight. Yeah. Auto Nation Gridiron Report here on SouthFloridaHighSchoolSports.com. Scholar Athlete nominations up here. $1,000 to your school, a winner each month for Dayton Broward County. So we are just off the back to back weekends at the state championship games. And so we're going to use this platform to focus on a couple of players. Essentially, who held themselves the most in the postseason? We'll start with the small schools. So we'll look at Champagnat and Booker T, who won the first weekend. Let's start with the Lions of Champagnat. Congratulations to them. Yes. We've, we've spoken a lot about Frankie Labatti. He'll be going to Cincinnati, but he has a younger brother, plays on the defense. Kendrick Labatti, really impressed. Yeah, very impressed. Well, you know, I think it started during the spring. I had an opportunity to watch him and, and, and see him play. And I thought, you know, this kid has an opportunity. He's a young kid. He's a sophomore, going to be a junior. You know, he's, you know, he was playing a little bit fullback for him, playing some linebacker. By the end of the season, as you mentioned, in the state title game against Victory Christian of Lakeland, this is a kid that really showed up, Josh. I mean, he came to play. He knew exactly where the ball was going. All you know, he he harassed people in the backfield. He dropped into coverage. I, you know, one of these kids that really got the stock. You know, he's not the biggest guy in the world, right. so he's always going to have to play on his ability to, to be a non-stop kid from whistle to whistle. A motor guy. Yeah, he's and a nothing motor, wrong with that. Though. No. All right. So that Booker T man. <laughs> Uh, everyone sort of has helped, has helped themselves over their career yes. at, at Booker T. Yes, but, but I know, again, this is your theme. You're a defensive-minded guy. You talk <coughs> yes. a lot about defense lately. So we look at the Booker T defense. You know about Chad Thomas. You know about Tevin Evans, Nigel Bethel, uh, some of the linebackers as well. But a guy that you want to look at is along that defensive line, plays in the middle. He's also a bit undersized but yeah. very productive, and that's Tyrone Robinson. Well, they're all kind of tweeners on defense, you know, unless you're a big, hulking guy like uh, Thomas. I mean, he's, he's, he's a good size. Everyone else, like you mentioned, Tevin Evans is a 6'1", 200-pound defensive end. You don't find him that... You know, they have to drop the back a little bit. But the one thing about this young man, and, and, and we watched him, if you look in the state championship game, and I know this is, I keep bringing this up for a reason because everyone talks about the demise of Booker T and they're going to go down and this and that. But You're not buying it? No, I'm not. Sit, the top six tacklers in the biggest stage of the year, well, pretty big stage, I, I'd say against Bulls, a very right. good football team, were all underclassmen. That points to one thing, that they're going to be a very sound defensive football team again next year. And that, and that guys like this gentleman right here could step up at any time and, and, and make plays. And he did. If you, I've, I had an opportunity like you did to see him plenty this year. We, we watched him four or five, six times, plus the two TV games. It was amazing how this team continued to just at all times put pressure on with young kids and th this is just one of many that, that really got it done but I think that, that this is somebody okay a little bit undersized but somebody has set the table for a senior year uh, a lot like uh, the young man from Central uh, who, who's going to be the linebacker yeah, no, we'll the, yeah two, or Furman Silva yeah Furman Silva who's, who also set himself up but uh, when you when you take a look at the kid like that uh, you know this is going to be a very special team because he's a leader and and uh, just, just watch number 11, Tyrone Robinson, next year, and you'll understand. All right, great accomplishments by, of course, Champagnat and Booker yes. T for different reasons. Champagnat, their first football title, and for Booker T, back-to-back -back in the national title. Great job by Mike Tunsil and Ice Harris. An amazing job by this man, as always. For Larry Bluestein, I'm Josh Darrow. Thank Another you, edition of Southflex, which you're showing off, though, of the Auto Nation Gridiron Report here on SouthFloridaHighSchoolSports.com.